The Alabama African American Civil Rights Heritage Sites Consortium is a collaborative of 20 places in three iconic cities that were at the epicenter of the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. The consortium sites really laid the foundation for a movement that would change the nation and ultimately impact the world. And they all face the challenge of an aging generation and also, in some cases, these buildings not being preserved. Designation on the World Monuments Fund Watch provided a global platform to tell the story of these sites. It allowed the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute to leverage that recognition, that visibility, that credibility to identify and attain new resources to support the work of these sites. Support from the World Monuments Fund to do the oral history project really satisfies an express need from the sites. These stories will be made available to a global audience who would not have the opportunity to hear them otherwise. The bars were opened in 1907 as uh, swimming and washing facilities which were pretty rare in homes at the time. Over the years the community may have changed but the provision has always been there. It's the provision of health, it's the provision of well-being, it supports community groups and the public themselves. Over the years Moser Road Bass has been under threat of closure through local government spending cuts and the state of the building itself. Without intervention of the local community, friends groups, this building would have been closed years ago. Moser Road Bass inclusion on the watch list has given it a global recognition and the council realised what a unique asset they had in their hands uh, and the vote to close was delayed many times. The watch has also encouraged funds to be applied for with the listing, it's been incredible. We have taken over the provision of swimming from the council with a license to operate and hope to encourage more people to use the pool. Uncle is a modern word. In total, there are 91 temple already inscribed to the World Heritage List. After the 15th century, Uncle was abandoned. There is no maintenance. No one takes care of our Uncle. Architects, archaeologists, historians were killed during the Pol Pot regime. The uncle stone buildings were threatened to collapse. Everyone wants to sell Uncle, but the capacity to understand, to manage, were missing. The inclusion on the 1996, the void list stated that in order to sell Uncle, it is necessary to build the capacity in heritage preservation among the Cambodian professionals without training and opportunity support by watch inclusion, people wouldn't know how to be effective manager for conservation of Uncle. It has brought more international attention to the site and inspired Cameroon to take care of Uncle. When I think of reasons to nominate a site to the watch, I think of three words to celebrate, motivate and activate. Uh, to celebrate the legacy of significant historic sites and buildings is so important and I don't think anyone does it better than the World Monuments Fund. It serves as a motivation for the community to become involved and for stakeholders to understand the importance of preserving these sites. And hopefully it will then activate the stakeholders and the community and those involved specifically with the site to begin to work and extend their efforts to preserve the legacy of the buildings but also the legacy of the people who made the buildings a vibrant part of those communities. <laughs>